What's going on, folks? Close my door here. This is a late one today. I'm up late. I just found out my nephew's playing in Australia. Uh, let me see if I can bring y'all into this. I'm hoping. Uh, I'm, I don't know how this works with Australia overseas stuff because this is a free stream. So. They don't want to bring me up. We'll try it again. Hold on. There we go. There we go. Now we're cooking with grease. So let me see. My nephew is. Can you see my cursor? No, you cannot see my cursor. So he is number 24. He's playing down low on that left side. That's him to just put his hands up. Oh, God. That was horrible. I'm going to go hang around for probably a half. We got. A little less than five minutes left in the first quarter, so Dude, why you just let him walk to the basket? We got four people, two and two, two on Twitter, Twitter space, and uh, one on the YouTube. So I appreciate you, whoever jumped on the YouTubes with me. This was very impromptu. I didn't know he had a game tonight. But I knew I was going to – I'm going to start following him. Especially – yo, what does this dude – why does it look like he has a helmet? That is just his braids. He's got his braids white or, like, silver. Look like he got a helmet on. <laughs> so when I streamed the game uh, last night, I had ended up with, like, 300 people on – Facebook and a lot of them were from the Philippines. And uh, I know there was a big contingency of Philippine fans that watch the NBL. Now, the biggest problem I'm dealing with right now is that it is one o'clock in the morning here and it is 1 p.m. in the afternoon 
in Australia, there is a 12 hour difference. So uh, <laughs> that can lead to some interesting things. So, but I figured what the hell I knew I was going to watch it. So I was like, let me just go ahead and stream it. See what kind of response I get. Um, so all four of you, I'm appreciative. I'm appreciative of that. Um, I don't see anybody on the Facebooks. Not yet. Oh, one just popped up on the Facebook. So I appreciate that. We don't keep it going. You see, I got my coffee. Got my personalized mug. I'm good. So he's off. There he is. That's my nephew with the ball right there in the purple shoes. He wants to fire up a three. But they didn't get him the ball back. That's the way it go. Not too many people in the stands over there. Uh, excuse me. Not used to being up this late streaming. <laughs> so we're going to see what happens. Got popped in the mouth. Come on, Randy. First, he was in, um, he was playing in Brazil. And then the last two seasons, he was playing in, he was playing for Bumi Borneo in Indonesia. And then now he signed with the Australian team, the Goldfields Giants. Ooh, damn, did you carry that ball, nephew? Oh, you banked it. <laughs> you banked it. Luxury RBs. I gotta find out what like what their rules are because I know in Indonesia they had some some different rules about how many people had to be on the court. They had to have a they had to have Indonesian players on the court at all times. I think so. I'm wondering if they have similar rules in the NBL. Oh, you got that and the foul. Nice. What's going on, Chris? I'm up late tonight, bro. <laughs> I wanted to see my nephew play ball, so had to do it. Had to do it. I didn't realize he had a game tonight, so I was like, let me go ahead and stream just to see what kind of response I get. So, And then tomorrow the uh, championship game is at 3, so I'm going to be tired as hell. Get some chicken wings or something like that just to watch the game. So it's cool. Did you watch the games last night? Were you on? Uh, did you watch the games or were you? I think you told me you were playing like uh, PGA golf or something. Let's see. Moving the ball right there. We're down two minutes left in the quarter already. They're moving. They're breaking. Ah, oh, come on, nephew. Put a little bit too much heat on that one. Yeah, Chris, I'm going to get this a half. I'm sleepy. <laughs> I am sleepy. Uh, cleaning the house. Chris, where are you located, man? Are you on the West Coast? Is that why your time is up? Or is that why you up? You on the West Coast? Mm, popped it. Up, up, up. What am I not? One, two, three, four. Did something just happen? Oh, there you go. Did they take him off the court that fast? What did, like what did I miss? This is kind of sloppy. This is very sloppy. Wow. We're getting there. Oh, you live in Orlando. You just up late. Okay. Okay. I ain't mad at you. You just up late. You just wanted decided to be a night owl tonight. <laughs> I 
Shit, it's been a crazy week for us, man. We had the earthquake yesterday. Did we supposed to get aftershocks? We done had all kind of crazy stuff, man. Oop, pops the three. Oh, damn. You bricked that for real. Oof. Fong Zui. What's going on? Hello. How are you? Fong, where are you from? Home win. Who's home win? Uh, where are you from, Fong? Ugh. I got to make that another shout out and pop it again. Oh, boy, they bricking, man. They building a house out there. Good Lord. Fong, you from Vietnam. Nice. Welcome to the stream. Make sure you subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell. Please and thank you. I appreciate you. Uh, I guess Goldfields is the home team in this one. Yeah. I'm I'm Fong. I'm working on my uh Australian geography because I'm not sure where Goldfields is. I don't know what city that's in. But uh, I am going to be streaming uh, more games, Fong. So uh, do me a favor and tell all your people over there in Vietnam to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please and thank you. Bow 316 what's going on? Yeah, I'm trying to be international, dude. <laughs> trying to be. <laughs> uh, just got in from poker. <laughs> Most people playing poker online these days. Uh Basketball becoming more popular there, or has it been around? Basketball been around in Australia for a minute, dude. Uh, this is nothing new, but this is like um, uh -oh. I think my phone went dead. There we go. Um, basketball's been big in Australia. I know a couple years ago, uh, I don't know how many years, but Australia had a pretty good. Uh, Olympic team, I believe, one year. So basketball's been been hype in uh, Australia. Damn, he shot another air ball. <gasps> Good grief. So, Saint killed the Saints. Oh, what is that? Uh, all right. Let me get let me get my phone going. Hold on, because I don't know who's saying what. Goldfield Giants. Oh, Randy got a. Um, let me save this. Send this to the wife. Save photo. Um, let's see. Mm, 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 mm. There we go. And let's see what we got going on. Let's see who's talking. I'm talking. What is going on with my with my Facebooks? There we go. What's up, Gary? That's you. Gary Cease Wolf. Ghost Wolf is watching. Appreciate you, bro. Uh yeah, man. We we trying to do it. We trying to do it. I'm trying to stream everything. Just starting to grow. Um, so I'm in the enviable position that I can try different things. Um, I, I know that, um, you know, Bow, you was here last night. So that the, the international kick just kicked in out of nowhere. I did not expect that to happen. So, and I got the message today that my nephew was playing. I knew he'd been over there for about a week or a little bit longer, but I didn't know what his schedule was. So it just so happened that that failed today that he was playing. Uh, my niece called me and told me he was playing at, at one. 
So, uh, Chris, I'm streaming this through the NBL webpage, and it's a free stream. So, what I did was normally when I stream live, like when I stream the um the women's game the other day, you notice I didn't show any other game because I didn't want to get it like uh I don't want to get hit with copyright or anything like that from YouTube. Um, but this is free and I was looking for any restrictions. So basically what I did was when I set up this stream, I turned off any monetization. So I'm not making money off of this or anything like this. I just wanted to see what it'll do. If they give me like a, like a, a notice for like a warning or something for the copyright, I'll just delete it. But, um, I just wanted to see what it was due. I don't know what the restrictions are. I was trying to look. And I didn't see any restrictions on their website. And like I said, plus this is a free stream. So this isn't anything. Um, this is the Goldfields Giant, but this is MB, mbl1.com.au, which is Australia's name. So, so absolutely. Yeah, I'm commentating and, and you know, and like I said, I turned off monetization. So I'm not I'm not trying to make money off of this. So, but you see all of the stuff with the um, you know, as long as I like show this stuff and just let I guess let the world know that this is where it's coming from and it's not coming from me. I guess that's all right. But we'll find out. This is a learning process for me. So if I gotta change it, I'll change it. Or if I can't use it, I can't use it. But it's all good. So But it's pretty good quality. I mean, they don't have the production value. That's my nephew right there, Randy Bell. He already got 11 points. So <laughs> he's playing pretty good already. Um, let me see. Let me send my wife a note, let her know what's going on. Let's see. 11 points. How many I get? Uh, oh, okay, my wife's my wife's watching. Oh, nineteen to twenty-one. So, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was, I was the sports ambassador last night. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> I definitely appreciate that. That was cool, man. I had a lot of fun with that, man. Um, and I got to go back uh, to check my analytics to see, because I'm definitely gonna try to try to, you know, capitalize on that. But I tell you what, man, one thing that's difficult, uh, Chris, my nephew's number is 24. That's him with the purple shoes on. He got the ball right now. He played uh he played for Timber Creek when he was here in Jersey in high school. I coached him in uh he was one of my little fullbacks when I was coaching for GT. He's the he's the reason I started coaching up here. Um cuz I went to watch him play obviously. And then um I didn't like what I was seeing with the, you know, some of the decisions the coaches were making and stuff like that. But I remember saying, I told his dad, I said, I'm not going to be uh, one of those guys that that just complains about what the coaches are doing or not doing. So that next year I started, I started coaching him. And that's when I got involved with uh, the GT Stallions down here in South Jersey. And I coached with, I ended up, you coach a group for two years. And then I coached my nephew, and then I just stayed with the group, and I ended up coaching for like nine and a half years. You guys have heard me talk about uh, Devin Leary, quarterback out of Kentucky. I coached him. He might get picked on uh, draft sun, draft day. He might be a second-day pick, but uh, I think he, he'll end up on a team somewhere. So I used to live right, right across the street from Timber Creek. Okay. Oh, before it was Timber Creek. You're going way back. 
Ooh, banked it. Nice shot. Nice shot. Yeah, I'm gonna have to read up on this. I don't know what the um I don't know what the rules are with the Australia stuff. So I'm gonna have to figure that out. Yeah, I'm gonna keep um I'm gonna keep streaming until you know until somebody says otherwise. So Gary, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm trying to find other ways to do it. Um, I am a F1 fan. I don't know how many F1 fans, but I'm trying to slowly but surely get into um, because I'm I'm liking, I was just having this conversation with my wife today. I'm trying to figure out how to do evergreen content with sports. And that's kind of difficult because sports is seasonal and you always talking about what exactly is going on now you know what i'm saying so um i'm, I'm kind of trying to figure that out because evergreen content just means i can produce something and it'll have the same value if you watch it tomorrow or a year from today you know what i mean it still has value and it's hard to do that when you are um something's in season uh-oh no audio let me see what happened. Can you guys still hear me? If you can hear me, put a thumbs up. My wife just texted me. She said I, she got no audio. So my mic's on. Everything's everything's looking. Oh, um, let me see. I try not to. I try not to put the audio for the game because it'll one will drown out the other, but I will leave it. Okay, thank you guys. Can you guys hear the game audio? A little bit. Cause I don't want to I don't want to turn that up too much because then I can't I won't be able to hear myself think. So okay. Uh there's nothing really I can do about that. Yeah. I can't really do anything about the game audio because what I would have to do is literally pipe that through the microphone and I do not want to do that. So. Good follow. Because what this here, hold on for a second. Now you can probably hear it through my speaker. Yeah. So that's what I didn't want to do because now I got it blasting in my ear right here. So can you guys hear that now? Hold on for a second. I know what I might be able to do. Hold on. Hold on. Desktop audio. All right. Hold up. So hold on, I'm gonna try to do something. Can you guys hear it now? There we go. There we go. So let me know if it's too distracting if you can't hear me, or if we're, if the audio is too is too loud. I'm gonna pipe it down just a little bit so I'll come up in a little bit stronger. So. There we go. Okay. I think we got it together. I'll adjust if you guys see anything different or hear anything different. So I appreciate the feedback though. Thank you. Thank you, hon. My wife, my wife is, is my technician upstairs. <laughs> so I think um, I'll mess. I'll start messing around with that later. But I think because I can go on another web page that'll give me get give me like live stacks and stuff like that. But I got I would have to do a split screen. 
So maybe I'll mess around with that at halftime. Oh, with the turnaround. I see you, nephew. I see you with the turnaround. Good shot, man. He he gonna lead the first. He gonna have about fifteen points in the first half. Live with that. Ah, cheap rebound. You need Caitlin Clark out there shooting them long threes. Yo, that dude, that guy on the on the uh on the left side with the pink shoes, I swear he looks like he got a helmet on with them with them silver braids or whatever that color that is. <laughs> I had to do a double take with that. I was like, what is going on with this? So let me see what we got. We have nice. I got nine people on YouTube. And three on Twitters and one Gary, you you holding it down in Facebook, bro. I appreciate you. <laughs> so I don't know if Fong is still on here. Fong, you still on here from Vietnam? She popped in earlier on the Facebook. So or was that was no, hold on for a second? Was Fong on Facebook or YouTube? No, Fong was on she was on Facebook. Fong, if you still in here, shoot me a thumbs up. Shout out to everybody in Vietnam. Rick. Uh, stay out there and take the shot, bro. Travel. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Man, I'm going to be a hot mess tomorrow, man. We got, uh, okay, seven point lead, three and a half, 340 left in the first half. There you go. Here we go. So who is, hold on for a second. Let me see. I'm getting a message in the Facebook. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, what's up there? Okay. Okay. Three thirteen. Let me turn this one off. Yeah. Let me see if I can do a little double trouble because I want to see these stats. Players. Men's. I just want to see the stats of the game. Stats game. All right. There we go. There we go. There we go. Um, let me see. My nephew, he's been playing for 14 minutes. Was that him that just missed that shot? Uh, he's been playing, he's got 14 minutes in, he's got 16 points, four rebounds, and then one assist. It's got to be a foul. Uh, three points, three those attempts. He hasn't even been to the line yet. But he holding it down. He leading the team in scoring right now. Uh, next closest person has got five, number 14. Uh, Con Angwick. Good shot, dude. In your face, bro. Can 
back to the ah, come on, man. Throwing the ball away. Spin on him. Step back. Ugh, I see you, nephew, with the step back. On the baseline, that's a hard shot, too. Oh, good steal, dude. Good anticipation. Good finish. Nicely done. Got two. Damn, he got two steals already. Nice. Well, they like to, they throw up they throw up them three point shots, man. <laughs> Shortest guy on the team got one, got a bucket. <laughs> oh my god! All right, minute thirty. Come on, Randy. Good pass, dude. Good pass. <laughs> yeah, he been at it for a couple years, man. Gary, he been uh he been grinding. He he did uh he did Brazil. He did uh last two years he was in Indonesia. So and their rules are different, man. You can only play on a um you can only play on the same team for like two years and then you got to bounce to another team. So it's a, now I don't know if it's like that here in Australia, but I know in, um, in Indonesia, he played for two different teams uh, over, I think it was like three, four seasons. So, um, but they're, yeah, their, their rules are a little bit different. So I got to get familiar with, with, um, with what they do, how they get down in Australia, because I honestly don't know. And I don't know what the, like the team rules, if, if he can, can he stay on his team for a couple years? Like, how does that work? <clears throat> so, so hope so, man. Hope, hope he get a, you know, eventually he'll get a, a look see at one of these teams over here in the states. But we'll see. But listen, y'all know me. I'm a I'm a veteran of the World League, so uh, I understand and appreciate the experience playing on other teams in other countries, and just the education you get being overseas. So uh he learning a lot and plus he enjoying it, man. He's enjoying it. It's like now nah, they don't make NBA money, but like when they go over there, they make decent money, but everything that you would have to spend money on is already taken care of. So they don't I mean, technically, you really don't have to spend your money if you don't want to. Food and all of that, food and transportation, unless you want to go see some sites or something like that. But for the most part, they got you. So. Don't lose the ball. Huh. Manny Lock Malik. Malik, Manny Lock Malik. Some crazy names, man. Crazy names. So, yo, uh, Chris, didn't I find a, um, I was looking for it today. I found a Vietnamese uh, NBL Facebook group. So I had to join that because uh, I found a Viet, not a, I'm sorry, not a Vietnamese one, a Philippines one. Philippine one. So, after all of the, the love I got from the Philippines yesterday, I was like, I'm going to find a group. And lo and behold, there's a Philippine Facebook group that follows the, the NBL. So I was like, let me join this group. So, but we got a small little group. We got eight people on the YouTubes and three on Twitter. So make sure everybody is subscribed. And we are at halftime, 44 to 37. I'm gonna keep rocking a little bit, a little bit longer. I'm gonna keep rocking a little bit longer. 
So I don't know how long the halftime is. What, 10, 15 minutes? So, uh, so tomorrow or today, later on today, I will be streaming again live at 3 p.m. when the national championship game comes on. Um, I don't know if you guys saw the game, South, um, Iowa and UConn, uh, great game. I thought UConn had them. I picked UConn to upset them. And, um, UConn had them, and then for whatever reason, it, it was like about a four, four or five minute stretch going into that fourth quarter where I couldn't, you know, Paige Beckers wasn't getting shots. And I was like, why didn't I give her the ball? And Caitlin Clark was heating up. And when she wasn't heating up, you know, she was passing her ass off like normal. So, she was getting the ball down low to Stokey. I said in my video, if you haven't checked out my video about the call, um, check it out. Um, did I think it was a bad call? No, that was the correct call. However, comma, um, that was not the right call at that particular time. I'll go back to the stream when they get back from halftime. Um, that was not the wrong call, but uh, being... A, a Philadelphia Eagles fans, you know, uh, we've been through this before with the whole Bradbury thing in the Super Bowl. Was that the right call? Technically, yes. But they have been calling it loose and letting them play all game. And even last night, they let them girls play the whole game. So why are you going to blow the whistle at that particular time, at that moment? That didn't – I don't like that. You got to be consistent. If you're going to let them play, let them play. If you're going to call it tight, call it tight. But whatever you do – Stay consistent for the whole game. So if you want to go by the letter of the law, yeah, that was a moving moving screen because she didn't have her feet set. And even if she hadn't moved, the girl still would have had to go around. But that game should have ended or gone into overtime on Paige Becker's jump shot. She makes it to go to OT. She misses it. Um, Iowa wins anyway. So they should have let that go. And it was – I, just bad timing. Not that's it wasn't an egregious foul, and there was a lot of loose stuff being missed or or just passed up. Like again, the refs were letting them letting them play, and um, I thought Caitlin Clark should have had two personal fouls for charging when she was penetrating to the basket. She would always lead with her elbow and push off, but they let it go. They let it play, and she had a couple of uh, critical buckets. Um, doing that. So I was like, okay, they're going to let them play. And then to, to call that when they called it, I thought it was, I thought it was a little suspect. So, but that's the way of the game. Um, what you call it? Uh, uh, Paige Beckers gave a, gave a, uh, Paige Beckers gave the best answer when she was like, uh, you know, one call is not going to make or break a game. You, you don't win or lose with one call. And and I agree 100%. They had plenty of opportunities to take that game over, and they had a they had a stretch. Um, I don't know what the scoring was, but they had a stretch where they just, like, they couldn't buy a bucket. They could not buy a bucket, and they were not getting offensive rebounds. And that's when Clark got hot. She hit a couple threes, and she was getting the ball down low to Stokey. Um, and then Martin uh, uh, came on when when Iowa's team makes their shots, they are hard to beat. Very similar to to South Carolina. Now, I do not think Iowa can beat South Carolina. I do not. I think South Carolina is too tall. Um, they got too much speed. Um, I am positive Dawn Staley is going to make the right. Uh, she's going to have the right game plan for Iowa, but I would put Malaysia full Wiley. I would start her and put her on Caitlin Clark right from the rip, right off the bat. You got, you got somebody that's fast because Malaysia full Wiley is the fastest person on the court right now when they play. So, and she's tall enough and she got enough hops to where she can make Caitlin Clark change her shot or you put Ashlyn Watkins 
on Caitlin Clark because nobody in college basketball can out jump Ashlyn Watkins. That girl can dunk and she can dunk with authority and she can legit get up there. So, this <laughs> Dennis, what's up, Dennis? How you been, bro? Hope you've been doing pretty, pretty good, man. I know you've been going through some stuff, man. Been thinking about you, praying about you, bro. Hope it's all good, man. Hope it's getting better, man. So, <laughs> you white and you fat? <laughs> white white man can't jump? <laughs> so, but yeah, man. Um, I thought Gino was going to get the upset because I thought I was like, for sure, Gino R.E.M. is going to come up with a plan on how to slow down Caitlin Clark. And for the most part, he did, man. For the most part, he did in that first half. So, So, yeah, I saw that, Dennis. You moving back to Florida, man. You know, do what you got to do, bro. Take care of business, man. We ain't going nowhere. So we'll connect when it's, when it's time to connect, man. You you handle business first. You know, take care of family and, and you know, do what you got to do, man. So, um, yeah, Caitlin Clark is unreal, man. But I don't think um, – I don't think they beat in South Carolina, bro. I don't think they beat in South Carolina, man. So – uh, long rise to Philly. Yeah, you, you ain't said nothing, man. You better get on them uh, phillytrips.com, bro, so we so they can get you up here. So, did anybody watch WrestleMania tonight? Did anybody see Kelsey? Kelsey Elaine Johnson help out Rey Mysterio? <laughs> if you thought that they were going to have WrestleMania in Philadelphia, <laughs> spirit. <laughs> I ain't mad at that. I ain't mad at that, Dennis. <laughs> but um, did y'all see uh, it was Lane Johnson and Jason Kelsey. They had on the uh, luchador luchador masks and they uh, they helped out Rey Mysterio in his match. And then they pulled out the, you know, they had Pat McAfee. They got Pat, Pat McAfee doing everything now, but I ain't mad at him. Um, but they came on, helped Rey Mysterio out. Then they jumped in the ring. And then they took off their masks at the end of the match, and everybody, of course, the crowd went crazy. So, but I thought that they were going to have something with, um, maybe they would jump out there with the Rock, and um, you know, get them for talking smack about uh, Jalen Hurts or something like that. And I thought for sure uh, it was going to be Jason and Travis doing like some type of tag team or something like that. Um, but if you thought that WWE was going to come to Philadelphia and Jason Kelsey was not going to be on the main stage, man. Like, who didn't see that coming? If you pay, if you place the parlay bet, you ain't win much money because everybody their mama saw that coming. But still, man, they've been having – they've been, that stuff has been all over the news up here. Um, they had the WWE Festival downtown, down in Philly. ton of people there spending $500 on the fake uh, championship belts. <laughs> I ain't mad at them, though. So, but, uh, but yeah, it's been a good weekend, man. So good, good weekend for sports, man. Good weekend for sports. I ain't even watching any games today. Who, um, check something out real quick. Cause I know, I think the men played today. So who is, who's in the finals for the men? NC state is losing to Purdue. They lost. That was a low scoring game, too. Um, so Purdue's going to the finals and they're going to play UConn. Wow. So two number ones are going at it. Okay. All right. Alabama gave it a good a good run, though, didn't they? So uh All right, let's see. They're back on the court. Let me bring y'all into this. So, but yeah, man, we got. Um, so the men play. When is the? Let's switch this back in a second. When is 
the national championship game. Is it Monday? Because I know the ladies play tomorrow. Um, yeah, I got to show you all my women's bracket, man. My women's bracket was at 97% the other day. I was killing it. I was killing it. Let me see what it is right now. I'm going to come back to it in just a minute. Bracket, second chance. Uh, turn that down. So the brackets. Nah, I ain't worried about all of that. All right, let's get back to the game. All right. What we got? What we got? Did he start? Yep, yeah, he over there. Mr. Purple Shoes. Lord have mercy. <laughs> Running into each other. And then he missed the shot. Lord have mercy, dude. You, you shooting the ball from directly under the basket? Wow, they breaking. Good pass. All right, get your own rebound. Go back up. Go back up with it. Euro step. Okay, Randy. Got him with the Euro. Uh, 20 points for the night. Good night. Seeing as though he just got over there. Pretty good. Wow, dude, did you just airball? Did you just have nobody around you and just airball that shot? Like, really, dude? That's crazy. Uh, they killing me with the with the sparklers every time somebody score. <laughs> they don't have a scoreboard, so they they like fireworks, <laughs> pyrotechnics. Did he just dribble the ball off his foot? Good pass. Nice, nice pass, dude. All right, what we got? Can y'all hear that? Turn the game back on up a little bit. My bad. Should be able to hear that a little bit better. Let's see what we got. Uh, yellow shoes is shooting. Nope, he gave it up. Man, they are bricking, man. They don't have no, they don't have any good three point shooters, man. Good steal. Can we get a dunk? Wow, did you just miss the layup, bro? You 6'5 and you missed the layup? Come on, son. Come on, nephew. Is he on the line? No? Not in the foul. Not in the penalty yet. Okay. All righty. I must say, uh, this stream is a lot clearer than what we got with the... Uh, with the Indonesia, the Boomy Bernio stuff that we got last last year. This is a little bit better. Oh, tied it up. 
Tied it up. Man, they, they are bricking all of a sudden, man. Go back to the hole. Good, good. Start penetrating again. Everybody's shooting threes. <laughs> Thank you, Ebony. Can't hear the game at all. Let me see. Can you guys hear the game? There we go. How's that? Sorry about that. Mm, good drive. Got to finish. Got to finish. Yeah, I got to get on some of these. All right, let me write that down. Got a plan for the future, man. So, got to get. I love hearing, hearing their commentary on this. Ooh, all right, can we get a dunk? Can we get a dunk? Come on, nephew. All right, we'll take the layup. We'll take the layup. Man, what, what was that? It's funny, like, watching this game. And uh, come on, stop complaining, nephew. Keep playing. Let's go. Uh, it's funny, like, watching this broadcast and seeing, looking out of the garage door the bay door and you got people over there look like they buy an ice cream or whatever that truck is right there <laughs> in the background that's funny lord have mercy this is funny Nephew talking to the ref. <laughs> All right. Not doing too bad. This is moving pretty quick, man. So there ain't been too many stoppages in, in um high <laughs> school jail. <Jim. laughs> Dude, ain't that the truth? Like they out there selling churros or something. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Gary, you crazy, dog. You crazy, dog. Hamish Cummings. Make the free ones, dog. Make the free ones. Good grief. What we got? Randy got 22 points. Angwick has seven. Deshaun Parsons has eight. 
So he's having a pretty good game so far. He done played uh is he leading in minutes? Yes. He's played the most minutes on the squad. He didn't play 22 minutes. So he's making the most, making the most of his time. So that's always good. Uh, NBA West. What is this? West Coast now. Nah, NBA One photographers. Nope. Trying to see if there's any more uh, Facebook groups I can join. NBA One East. No. All right. I think we're good. Gold, gold Smiths. Gold Smiths Giants. Almost spilled my coffee. Right? Yeah, we're moving pretty good. Pretty good. Gold Smiths Giants. Nice. Good shot. Uh, good rebound. Lord have mercy. Sheesh. Interesting. <laughs> you got the baby in the background with ice cream. <laughs> I love that bay door. <laughs> it's killing me right now. It's a tight game. They're moving pretty quick, too. So, this ain't too bad. Chris, did you get any of the uh, earthquake aftershocks? Did you feel any of that? Good pass. Deshaun Parsons, 10 points. That was an ugly shot. Ugh. Lord have mercy, man. They can't. Boy, that three point shooting is just god awful, man. God, dog. They couldn't hit a mirror in the bathroom, man. Damn. We'll have to look at the team rosters, learn the names. <laughs> now, pink shoes, yellow shoes, silver braids. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> I see you, Gary. Oh shit! What happened? Yeah, I think he's cramping. I think he's cramping. Pickle juice. Get that pickle juice, nephew. He got a calf cramp. <laughs> He's good. It looks like it's a calf cramp. So get him off the court. Yeah, man. I'm about to tell his mom to to 
to send them some, tell them to get some pickle juice down under, take care of them cramps. <laughs> I think he's good. I think he's good. I'm going to clown him on this one too. I'm going to try to get him. Um, I told him I was going to try to work out some type of time to get him on the live stream. Um, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it live just because of the time difference. Or I might have to do it like in the morning. I don't know what the schedule is like practice and all of that kind of stuff. So I'm going to try to work that out, but I'm definitely going to try to get him and, and make possibly some of his teammates on the stream. All right, Randy, get your butt up and get to the bench. <laughs> you holding up the game. Get your big butt off the floor. Yeah, he got he just got a bad cramp. She ain't doing much like squeezing. She better get the massaging that, that calf muscle. She don't look like she doing nothing. There you go. Get you some vinegar in you, bro. <laughs> oh my goodness, that was funny. Mustard. <laughs> Yo, he needs some pickle juice. <laughs> get your butt up. Get it, get your butt up on the bench, man. Them cramps don't and sometimes them cramps ain't no joke. Papa E, what's going on, man? Uh never seen you on the stream, but I uh, definitely appreciate you. For sure. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I appreciate you. Uh, you from the States? You from overseas? Where you at, Papa E? Talk to me. I'm in my family chat. Everybody talking about different remedies, mustard, vinegar, pickle juice, all kind of stuff. Salt. <laughs> okay. Okay. You from Michigan, but you live in San Fran. Got you. Got you. I appreciate you, bro. Hit that subscribe button and then make sure you come back and see us and bring a friend. That's how we doing it. <laughs> so, uh, and not for nothing, man, uh, Papa E, I am trying to do a lot more late live streams. Like I'm on the East Coast. I'm in uh, South Jersey, Philadelphia. So East Coast time, I'm trying to, I, I do Mondays and Fridays, I do a stream at 9.30 p.m. just so I can get more people from the West Coast tuning in. So tell your friends about me. Appreciate it though, bro. Appreciate you have uh, stopping by. Uh, and just, uh, thank you, Papa E. I appreciate that, bro. I got to get my, um, I got to, I got to set up my stream deck. So I got to get like sound effects and like confetti and stuff like that. Every time I get somebody that subscribed, that's the kind of stuff I want to, I'm going to get in the future. So I'm working on it. I'm working on it. But for, for right now, I just. I appreciate it. <laughs> Give you a, a, a hearty thanks. <laughs> Dang, I just downed this coffee and now I'm like thirsty. Hmm. You might have to... Um, you, you did you try to share the the my YouTube link 
Gary? Or did you just try to share the uh, my Facebook post? If you if you go to my YouTube channel and you can cut paste the Facebook, I mean the YouTube link, and then put it on Facebook, that should work. All right, we got 30 seconds left in this quarter, so. So, all right, nephew, we got to get you back in the game, man, so we can get this dub. Let's go. Yeah, y'all need Randy back in the game. For sure. I'm feeling better than I thought I would. Most likely because uh, I just had a cup of coffee. So I figured I would be fading right now because I honestly, Lord have mercy, man. We got the goal, Goldfields got the worst three point shooters. Good grief. Them jokers can't hit a mirror in a bathroom. Damn. That'll work, Gary. I appreciate that, bro. I'm trying to I'm trying to actively uh and this is one of these things where I take feedback from people watching. So if anybody's got any ideas, hit me up in Messenger or on, in the Twitter space. But what I'm trying to do is um I'm trying to figure out better ways to signpost people on Facebook and on Twitter just bringing them to YouTube cuz YouTube is where it has to happen but I like making the connections because the engagement can sometimes be better. Like right now, the, the best engagement is in Facebook and sometimes it's in Twitter's uh, Papa E. Uh, I cover everything, man. If I'm watching it um, right now, basically it's just Eagles news. Cause I, um, since this is your first time on my stream, I am a former Philadelphia Eagle running back. So I do cover a lot of Eagle stuff, very heavy. Um, but yeah, Eagles, Phillies, 76ers are hot right now. Um, WrestleMania was in Philadelphia tonight. Uh, I'm doing basketball. My nephew just started, so that's why I'm covering the the um the Australian basketball because my nephew is playing. Um, but yeah, I'm I the March Madness. I do not well, I do have a Discord, but I really don't use Discord that often. I really don't use it that often, so um Maybe I should start using it if people are on Discord, but never really. I've been sticking, keeping it consistently just on YouTube. And whenever I go live stream, I share it on YouTube and also on uh, Twitter. But I got to see if I can share it on Discord, too. I might be able to do that. I never thought about using it. So, uh, yo, did you did you see Lane Johnson and, and Kelsey come out? So. But yeah, man, uh, uh, wrestling is back up, man. So, but yeah, man, I I, I cover everything, man. I like F one, I like NASCAR. Um, I'm definitely trying to get into uh, to watch um, Major League Soccer over here in the states, and I am actively trying to get in touch with somebody in Brazil in Sao Paulo because the Eagles play Week One in Sao Paulo, Brazil. So I want to see that. Oh, my nephew back in the game with the purple shoes. So got that cramp worked out. So hopefully, hopefully he's a little bit better. Well, they can't hit a shot to save their life, man. Damn. In and out, in and out, in and out. Discord links everyone together. I'm going to have to look into that, man. I'm going to do a little homework. I have a Discord. Um... It, it, this might sound funny, Papa E. The reason I got Discord was back a couple years ago. Uh, we were still coming out the pandemic and everybody was trying to get um, PlayStation 5s. So I jumped. I got a Discord because everybody was there was a whole bunch of sites where everybody uh, this one dude had a site where he had an alarm that would go off anytime he found a store that got PlayStation 5s in stock. 
So I had Discord on all the time. I'd never really actively used it before then. I think I still got the app on my phone. So that's the only reason I, I use Discord. So, but I might, I might, I'm gonna do some homework, man. So if it's something that I can get out there and get more followers and get more subscribers on my YouTube channel, I will definitely check that out. Definitely check that out. Damn. Who's ball? Who's ball? Black ball. So, yeah, Lane Johnson. Did they do anything else besides get in with Ray Mysterio? Because in the in the Philadelphia local media, they showed um, they showed what they did in the ring, and then they showed they jumped on a golf cart and they they were getting um, carted out. So they got the churros on their mind. <laughs> Nice, good steal, bro. Let's run it. Randy, why are you hanging back, bro? That's horrible. If you're gonna go in that fast, man, go up for the dunk, bro. Well, they just love throwing the ball away, don't they? Uh, you can create a chat room that'll run 24-7 there. Damn, a 24-7 chat room. What the hell am I going to do with the 24? I got to look into it, bro. I've had it, but I haven't used it. Um, so I'll definitely do that. But you know what? I remember somebody telling me I did a um, – I was at an NFL meetup at Top Golf, And uh, that's my nephew right there, Randy Bell. Um, He got 26 points tonight, so we're having a good game. But – I was at a meetup at Top Golf, and one of the people at Top Golf had mentioned to me. Uh, of course, I tell everybody about my YouTube channel and stuff like that, and they were like, "You got to get on TikTok." I never used TikTok, so I created a TikTok account, started just feeding all of the stuff I do for YouTube to my TikTok channel, and I'm again, I'm just using that as a signpost. So I, I will definitely look up Discord, man, for sure. For sure. I am not the smartest man in the room when it comes to this, so I'm always trying to learn and, and try to figure out a way to do something new. So I appreciate the advice. Yeah, he balling a little bit today. He balling. He might get up to 30 if he can hit some jump shots. Let me see what he got. I think I may have closed that. Uh, yeah, I think I did. Let's see. Even with even with him coming out for that little bit, he's still leading the team in minutes. He got 27 minutes, 27 points, uh, and eight rebounds. So he might end up with a double double. He might end up with a double double if he plays cards right. So not a bad, not a bad night. Not a bad night. We down uh, okay, seven forty. We still got time. We still got time. They're showing them some love on the on the telecast. That's that's cool. Uh, I will do that. I'm usually I usually go live three times a week for sure. More a little bit more actually, because what I do is uh I go live uh Monday night, 9 30 p.m. Eastern time, Monday and Friday, 9 30 p.m. Eastern time, and then every Thursday, um that's like my show Pro Fan Talk is at 7 p.m. Eastern time. And then I do a thing at lunchtime. Oh, he goes in for the dunk. 
I do a thing at lunchtime. I, I go live at lunch three times a week. So I do go live a lot. So I will definitely look into creating a Discord um, and trying to do both. So, hey, whatever works. Dave, you like the kids running out there with the with the towels? <laughs> Come on, man. He gonna shoot it? Really? Come on, dog. Ah, come on, Randy. Stop complaining. Stop complaining. Bad call. How many fouls he got right now? Uh, can't tell. Randy Bell, you have just one personal file, so you're in good shape, bro. <clears throat> Can somebody make a damn three? Dad, go. Lord have mercy. They run into each other, man. Sheesh. Um, what are we doing right now? We are shooting. What is our field goal percentage? Um, field goals made. Our field goal percentage right now. They're shooting just above 40%, not even 41. So it's like 40.9. And um, three points, 12% from three point land, and um, 40, 40% from the field. So that's not great. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it, Papa E. Oh, he got hit with the Yukon moving screen. <laughs> oh my god, they got hit with the with the Yukon moving screen. Ugh. That's kind of apropos. You got five minutes, man. Come on. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Mm. Oh, let's go. Somebody got to hit a shot. Not you, though. Yeah, Take the two. Five-point lead. Two-possession game, so we still good. We still good. Oh my God! Woo! Damn, he shot that from New Jersey. Eight point lead. Come on, y'all got to make some shots, man. Come on, stop looking for the. I'm looking for the for the for the call, man. All right, shutting it down. We we bringing it down a little bit more. Uh, yeah. I don't know about how much defense they're gonna be playing, <laughs> but they just got to make some shots because they do not have a three point shooter at all. Oof. Gary, they go your uh, floor cleaners. <laughs> 
So. Oh, man. Yeah, they need they need to pop it. They need to do something a little bit better. Um, Mm, interesting. Interesting. They need a third. They need a third. Uh, third score. Okay. Okay. Hey, that's his opinion. Opinions are like assholes. Everybody got one. <laughs> I love that joke. <laughs> Uh, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Come on. Can we get a stop? Can we make a stop? Trying to do it all himself. Uh, bad shot, man. Bad shot, nephew. Oh, good defense, dude. Good def defense, 2 1. How many turnovers they got? They got 12 turnovers as a team. Two. Damn, it's been a turnover fest. 12 to 14. All right. They're getting stops, man, but they just not making shots on the other end. Move. What the hell kind of pass was that? Oh, that's goaltending. Lord have mercy. Sheesh. Come on, y'all got three minutes. We need to stop. We need to stop, man. Still a two-possession game. Off. Dude, make the cut. Go to the hole. You gotta get to the to the free throw line, man. They trying to set up for these. Dude, that's a garbage screen. Like we trying to go for the Euro step and lost it. Yeah, we need buckets, man. We need buckets. They run out of time. Come on, man. Can we get a bucket? Can we get a, a, a – I don't even want to say three because they can't shoot threes. Lord have mercy. He just got stripped, dude. How you get ripped like that? Oh, good block, bro. All ball. Good hustle. Really? Okay. My bad. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> My bad. They needed that. One possession game. Let's go. Can we get a stop? Can we get a stop? They can't shoot either, so stay on them. Stay on, stay on them. Oh, why you leave your feet? Damn. Why you leave your feet, dude? You had them. You was playing good defense. Good grief. Good. Yeah, he pushed off. He pushed off. He pushed off. He pushed off. If he'd have just stood there, he'd have been fine. 
Yeah, he pushed off on that one, man. He, yeah, that was an easy call. Whew. Y'all got a minute and a half, man. Can y'all make a stop and make some buckets on the other end? Golly. Let's go, man. Let's go. Now they hit the threes. Wow. Wow. I just noticed that when <laughs> – when the, little, when the little sparklers go up, if you hit a three, it's three of them. It's three columns of sparklers. And if you hit a two, then only two of them light up. I was like, okay. I didn't notice that before. <laughs> it's the little things that matter. Uh, yeah, they were, they were having some good ball movement, Gary, but, you know, they just now started hitting these shots. They've been bricking like, like Goldsmith has been bricking. Uh, what we got a 10 point lead, eight point lead. They needed, they got to get some stuff. They got to get buckets on the other end. They've been getting all the time. They got stops. They didn't hit the shots. <sighs> so I don't know what, what they're going to do. They better do something. Go out there and get some ice cream from the blue truck. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, they they have been hitting garbage. Uh they build another gym. All them bricks they firing up. They got to get something going, man. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Three and D. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty much it. But the only D they've been playing is doo-doo. Cause they, <laughs> cause it, it has not been working out for. They gotta get they gotta get uh they gotta put the ball in the bucket. Dude, run the play, run the play. Ah, you stepped out of bounds. Come on, Randy. Lord have mercy. Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> uh, I'm getting delirious now, Papa E, because I'm I'm getting sleepy now. It's two thirty in the morning where I am. So where we at? Where we at? Oh, good. Go for the dunk, man. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You got what 32 now, nephew? Got a good game going on, man. 31 points. Turnover. White ball. Yep. White ball. Come on. Can y'all make a shot? Let's bring this back. Bring this back to a one possession game. Let's go. Let's go. You less than 60. Lord have mercy, Randy. What were you doing, bro? I, I don't even know what that was. You <laughs> you went right down the middle, and who was you trying to dish the ball to? I don't know what did did, did the wrong play get run. I don't I don't know what happened. He trying to foul. Take the foul. Damn. Randy fouled him all the way to the other end of the court. He just didn't call it. Uh, yeah, y'all got, what, three hours behind? So it's, what, 1130 out there, Papa E? Good grief. Oh my gosh. Well, unless they miss all their free throws. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's a little bit too much now. I think that's a wrap. I think that is a wrap. Thirty seconds left, and you're down by eight. So y'all need like some quick stops and some y'all got it. You have to hit some quick threes, and uh, the way they've been playing in this last five minutes, uh, that ain't gonna happen. So um, we got to see something. Uh, oh, we had a little boost. Who's uh who popped in? Somebody in the Facebooks. Gary, somebody else with you over there in the Facebooks? Mm, he leading the league in scoring? I see you, nephew. <clears throat> I don't know how many games I missed. Yeah. Yeah. There's somebody else in there, Gary. I don't I can't tell who. I'm looking. They're not in the chat though, so it's all good. It's all good. That's a wrap. 15 seconds. All right. Good game, nephew. Uh, let's see. Uh, excuse me. Let me see. Let's see what the final final damage was. 34 minutes, 31 points, nine rebounds. He one rebound away from a double double. So let's see if he can sneak in and get a get a rebound on this free throw. Maybe he can get a double double. Oh, they moved him to the top of the key. Damn it. Thought he was going to get it. <laughs> what the hell was that? Lord have mercy. We can't even make a damn. Oh, my God. Wow. <laughs> good good first impression, nephew, man. I appreciate you. Uh, that's the way to put it down. Represent. That's how you represent, Randy. Uh, what do we end up with? 31 points, nine rebounds, um, no blocks. Yeah. One steal. Not bad. 31-9. One and one, so it's a pretty good game. Led the team in minutes played. Thirty, yeah, led the it, even with the cramp coming out for the cramp. He led the he led the team in minutes played with thirty four fifty three. So um, he led almost uh, the guy Gak, that big tall dude Gak for uh, Rockingham led the game. With 36 minutes and 11, and Randy was in second place with 34 played. So, so good game, good game, good game. Uh, we can be watching now. I know how to catch them, and hopefully, they'll have some games that are not quite as time um, inappropriate as this one is. <laughs> so we'll see. I got to really get into that website and check it out and, and see what the schedule looks like. So, um. So, yeah, man, I'm about to shut it down and give me some sleep. I know my wife is probably knocked out. Um, so, yeah, he, he had a he had a good game. He definitely had a good game, man. So, 
I'm going to get up out of here and I'm going to shut it down. I will be back on tomorrow at 3 p.m. for the Women's National Championship game. Hopefully you guys can join me. I will see you then. And thanks again, man. Talk to y'all later. Peace and go birds. You already know.